Right, uh, we've tried a couple of little things since last time that we were on. So this is the basket that I'm using at the moment, which is very successful. That works nice. This is the basically an upgrade. And from there to there's 30 mil. And that is the only burn area is that piece. Um, it does cut the temperature down quite considerably from 400 to 200 degrees, which is good, which is what we wanted. Um, but I did find that after a little while of it burning, it does block up. So you have to keep, keep cleaning it. But uh, this is where this one goes. This one fits in there just nice. And then a bit of this. In there. That's the way we do it. Right, so I'll just show you how I light this fire. So what I do, light one of them, just to get the draft going, poke it in there, Let's go down. Go in there, like so. That starts the draft off. Open. Put let the pellets in. Don't want to spend too long on this. I'll just show you this bit. I just put a fire lighter there usually that's good enough it's starting to run now you'll see it start <laughs> instant draft <coughs> if you're having a problem with my design having a bit of a draft problem it's only because your chimney is not um, high enough um, you need for this particular fire a three meter chimney I hope that uh, answers some of some of your questions. It doesn't like the door being open when I when I start it. Uh, the other question I was asked was the pump I'm using. I don't know why, but somebody wanted to know the pump. There's the details of the pump. Typical Chinese jobby. Um, it runs um, 90 liters a minute on the high setting, low setting is 60 litres a minute, so the other one in between, you can work out for yourself. I don't need to tell you that. Uh, that's really it. Uh, what else was I asked? Oh yes, the temperature between the back tube and the uh, last tube going out, the, the temp first temperature of this particular tube over here, that one, I'll just point to it so you can see, it. that one is lower than that one. And the reason for that is because the water is taking all the heat. So, not to worry. Uh, oh, the other modification I done was this. This little beauty here, right? Normally I would put a door in the front, um, but I've been putting this in the slot. So what happens, I, he won't like it, but I'm gonna do it now. Slide that back, put this in the slot, like so, and this takes you back to the old days of a damper. And you can see it's still working. <coughs> and what that is, that's got a, a 40 mil pin on the bottom. So if you look there, you'll see it's, um, it's still, that is still working. Uh, but I'll take that out, you have to put that back. Um, that's 40 mil from there to there. From that point from there to there so it gives a 40 mil gap under the under the burner that's about it really there's not much else i can tell you uh, <coughs> if you have any more problems this is that's giving that that damper at the back gives more control over the fire so that was the reason for trying it experiments you have to try these things to see if um, they'll work but um it does work, it works a lot better with that. 
you can see it is starting to light. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can tell you, uh, anything really new. Um, the other thing that you do need to know is that when you're using one of these stoves you need to have the fuel absolutely dry. That's why I use pellets because it does work beautifully when it's dry. Um, it usually takes about 10 minutes for it to get going and I think it's been going about 5 or 4. You work it out on the video. Uh, where are we? Yeah, it's been going 5 minutes. So there we are. And it's it takes 10 minutes usually. So <coughs> that's about all I can say today. This is Dave signing off. And I hope this helps you out. And uh, don't forget, chimney needs to be 3 metres high. It will not draw properly, and it's nice if you put 245s in halfway down because <coughs> it increases the the draw on the fire. You can see how much that's drawing, and uh, look, it's, it's going well now. Look, it's well away. So you don't, if you're still having a problem, um, just give us a, uh, a a comment on the bottom, and I'll get back to you. Um, other other than that, there's not much else I can say if you're having a problem. It, um, I've solved all the problems. They all work for me. And uh, so oh, I've got it down to a quarter of a litre of an hour that it burns. So that's what this one does. That burns quarter of a litre. And it's still giving me over 200 degrees. The damper knocks it down to just just about the 200 degrees so it's leave the big burner in it doesn't block and I, I put the damper in behind and it runs quite nicely so that's all the updates there is today <coughs> we'll catch you on the flip side this is Dave signing off don't forget the bits at the bottom um, thumbs up thumbs down or subscribe and and don't forget to hit that share button on the bottom there um, catch you later bye we're gone <laughs>